work or at vacations, and now it's time to comply with Amy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I am a professional traveler as well as a travel agent, and I reside in Florida, so I'm always doing fun staycations as well as traveling the world while I have the time to do so. But today's video is going to be a resort tour. I am going to, I'm staying, I'm currently here. I'm staying at um, Walt Disney World's All Star Music Resort. It is my first time ever staying in All Star. I have stayed at Pop Century, but that was a long, long, long time ago before renovations and whatnot. So I'm excited to experience All Star for the first time. Um, for those of you who don't know, All Star Resorts, there's three of them. There's sports, movies, and music. They're all very similar in layout, very similar room types. So what you see today is pretty cookie cutter to the other ones. Now do note that they are undergoing renovations. This one happens to be just about done. So just caution that not all the rooms are updated, but if you book that resort, if you look at the pictures, it'll show you the current state. This is a value resort, so it tends to be on the cheaper end of what you're looking for. The other value resorts are um, Pop Century, and technically Art of Animation is considered a value, but sometimes the pricing creeps up into like that moderate, more category in terms of price. So let me turn you around. I am in a preferred room. The preferred rooms are closer to the amenities. I'm really close to the food hall. I'm really close to the pool. You'll see I have an amazing view. So let me turn you around and show you this room. All right, welcome to room number 662. This is Calypso building number 10. When I go outside, I'll kind of show you the layout of the resort. So I have a really nice big window here. You can see there is pool outside of my room, which is amazing. But let me give you the overall look of the room first. Okay, we're gonna go kind of in detail here. So I just threw my luggage there, but you can see there's a little bit of a um, space there just to kind of store some things. Um, keep in mind, this is a preferred room and this has just very recently been renovated. I'll be honest, this looks almost brand new, like very little wear and tear. Um, here is a beverage cooler, not a fridge. Remember that this is only meant to chill beverages. So if you're holding things like milk and stuff like that, you'll just want to be careful. A small drawer here for storage. Um, you do have a coffee machine equipped with my favorite Joffrey, so I'm excited to enjoy that this week. I'm here for two nights. I don't think I said that. A little beverage area, just store some things there. You do have a desk and it is on wheels, so that's kind of nice. I do like that amenity of some newer hotels because then you can, you know, roll the desk around as you wish. You can make it like a dining table and whatnot. Um, in this room specifically, I only have one king bed, which for me, it's perfect because I'm just by myself. So I'm thrilled to have gotten a king bed. Um, but there are some rooms that have the two um, doubles that one pulls down and functions as a sofa. So kind of keep that in mind. These light switches here control this little jimmy right here. Plenty of outlets. That is the nicest thing with these newer upgrades is that there are plenty of outlets. You do have, again, a king-size bed. Um, I do want to note something about Disney bedding is in order to be more clean, they went to more of just the, sh the double sheet model. If you are somebody who likes some covers, just go ahead and request that or just call down. They do have some additional covers if you get cold. We do have some really nice looking drawers. Again, they're all about the same size. And then we do have a safe. And then it looks like I got an extra pillow down here. Not that I need any more, but Good to know. Um, a little bit of storage here. Again, more than enough outlets. A jumbo size TV, of course, scrolling. The only thing you ever need to watch while you're in Disney World. You have another chair over here. So in theory, you could pull that table out and kind of make it like a dining table for two. Um, some more storage and some more outlets. This room looks way more modern than it used to. Um, for those of you that are used to the old rooms, um, they were pretty dated. So curtain um, pulls close and it kind of sections off the bathroom. I actually really like this bathroom layout because if you're a family, somebody could be showering and doing their business. Somebody could be getting ready. So it's really conducive to that. You do have a little closet here to hang stuff. Again, a little bit more storage. All these cubes are super functional, great for storage. They really did a nice job here with the design of um, optimizing that storage. You do still, for a limited time, have H2O products. We do not know how long these products are gonna be around for. 
um, H2O did announce they're discontinuing and stopping making these beautiful products. So super unfortunate, but we'll see what Disney comes up with next. Beautiful vanity, love the lighting around this. This is actually really good lighting. Um, so really good job here on this update and renovation. And then you do have your bathroom, really nice size bathroom here. And I love the frosted um, shower door versus a curtain like that to me is brilliant. Every hotel in all of history should have this. Just stays cleaner, doesn't look as um, old. And again, you do have on the wall, you do have these H2O products. Again, not sure how long they'll be around for. And everything's been updated in here. So overall, really nice hotel. Um, let me go outside real quick and show you my view which is amazing. Um, remember our preferred room. I'm also on the top floor. Look at this view. It's wonderful. So I'm in Calypso building number 10. That's Calypso building number one across from me. So that's to the right hand side. But how cute is this? Um, I'm gonna tour you around the rest of the resort, but um, love this. And then here is the uh, main building with the um, food court and whatnot. Now let's tour around the rest of the resort at All Star Music. First up is the pool area. As you can see from this bird's eye view, there is plenty of chairs and the pool typically is empty throughout the day. The theming is very apparent throughout the property and each building has its own vibe. If you are staying in a preferred room, those are located closest to the transportation and the food court. If you are not staying in a preferred room and just have selected a standard room, you may have quite a walk to get to the transportation every day. There are a number of complimentary activities found throughout the resort. This includes some pool games, trivia, and even movie under the stars. The main building of the All Star Music Resort contains the food court, the lobby, the arcade, and the way to get to transportation. There is a really functional pool bar located right outside of the pool area. Now let's take a look at the food court as well as the arcade. The food courts at all Walt Disney World Value Resorts are pretty similar. So what you see here is what you can expect to experience at many other value resorts. The food courts are open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night bites. Keep in mind you can also use mobile order. There is also a little pantry area where you can stock up on goods for your room. Located just beyond the food court, is a gift shop. Each value resort will have some sort of gift shop that looks pretty similar to this. You can find items like merchandise, sundries, and other popular items. Here is a snapshot of the front desk and check-in area. As you can see, it's not very crowded. Most people opt to check in using the My Disney Experience app. Located right outside of this main building is the transportation area as well as a package locker area. This is the first time I've seen this at another Disney property. This portico share is where you will be dropped off if you are utilizing private or shared transportation services. As a benefit to staying on site at Walt Disney World Resort, you will have the option to take complimentary theme park transportation to all of the resorts. Here is the bus stop, which the buses run approximately 20 minutes each way for each park. And there was our trip to All Star Music. I had such a great stay. I'll be honest, those rooms, now that they're renovated, are really nice. They're spacious, they are functional, they're modern, they're comfortable. It's everything you could possibly want in an on-site Disney hotel. Um, I will say that, just remember that because this is a value resort, you don't have a full service restaurant. Um, your pool's a little bit more limited, so just keep that in mind when you go into it. Also, I do wanna notate that the bus situation, 
it was actually pretty good. Every time I rode the bus to the parks or to Disney Springs, I really only waited a max of 15 minutes, which really is not bad at all. It was never mass amounts of crowds. Now that could not be your story. I do know that there are some circumstances where the buses are not as great as I had just denoted. So just know that going into it and kind of set an expectation. But all in all, I would totally recommend this hotel for your next Disney World vacation. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking to book your next Walt Disney World vacation, my details are listed in the description down below, or just drop a comment and tell me your thoughts. And until next time, happy travels. Bye.